Hey y'all, this is A.L. Big Madam, and this is the recap review for the reboot of the television show, The Game. So the continuation of the first episode was, like I already told y'all, um, Malik got slammed up against the car and got handcuffed, and old boy, Jameson, was running by, and he saw what was going down, and the lead officer in charge, he told him, he was like, hey, what y'all doing? You know, that's Malik Wright. And... They lifted him up, saw it was him. The dude tried to ask for his his um information. And I was just like, child, I can't. So anyway, uh, they let him go because he was definitely smoking marijuana. Uh, but the man was like, did you see him smoking marijuana? He was like, yeah, go on ahead and uncuff him. So after that situation was over with, they were about to leave. The police officers were about to leave and all of that. And so Jameson was talking to him. He was like, well... You know, I don't know about the other dude, but Officer Keats or whatever his name is, he's a good dude. So he introduced himself and told him that, you know, he actually is there and he's training and he's going to see him the following day at the training camp. Because they're having this training situation to try to get another person that's going to be on the team. Which, y'all, I still don't know the name of this team offhand because when I saw it, I just was laughing like, I understand the copyright. <laughs> I'm like what is going on okay fighting fury <laughs> it's not terrible but I was just like child what is going on so anyway the colonel he out there on the astral turf and everybody like I'm just like it's this like it's giving it's giving paid to be there and cheer these people on like I really feel like they don't have nothing going on like that I don't think they've ever had much of anything going on like that. I don't think they've ever had a championship, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm like, y'all doing the absolute most. Y'all putting all this money into this team and ain't got nothing to show for it, but go off though. So anyway, tell me why before they can get the event started and, you know, have the prospects to come and show what they can do. He talking on the sidelines, if you will, to Tasha. This man tried to roll up and then she was just like, look, I'm married. So don't roll up on me and I ain't going to have nothing white in between my thighs or something like that. She said, I was like, ma'am. So anyway, he was like, yeah, first of all, second of all, third of all, I can please. He said something about being able to please and you might as well get to believe in him because what he said is what it is. I was like, sir, you done went off. But anyway, um, it handed her a card for a divorce attorney. And he was like, it's a good divorce attorney. You're going to need it. She was like, I'm married. No, I'm not going to need this. And he was like, yeah, trust me, you will. And I was just like, what is what is going on here? What is going on here? What does he know that I don't know? I'm not here for this. So tell me why. Like I told y'all before, there is this person who I, I don't know who he is. And when this situation happened, he was in the car with Malik. And then when the police had them to exit the vehicle, he ended up taking off. Y'all... He has reappeared and he's outside of the stadium where they are going in and they're going to, you know, show off their talents. And so he told us, where have you been? I was looking for you all night. And so he was like, yeah, um, there was no reason for both of us to get caught up with the boys in blue. I was like, what? So he was like, are you going to be, you know, down or what? Like, are you going to be ride or die for me or not? And so he making it seem like he ride or die. So in my mind, I'm like, so now that he's gotten off, you see he's gotten off. Now you there for the money. This is what this is my thought process in this moment because I'm like, I don't like this. Like, what is going on right here? So yeah, like I said, I've seen the entire episode, so don't come for me. I'm just saying that is my thought process in this moment because I'm like, you know how some people follow the money. And when the money gone, they gone too. So I was just like, what is what are you doing here? I don't like you. So anyway. He didn't go, he going in there and go do what he do. You know, he going to make his dramatic entrance like he always does. So anyway, before all of the stuff still gets started, yet again, Brittany is there because like we already established in the first episode, she is now Tasha's assistant. So she's there because Tasha's there. She needs to be there and write everything down and all this other stuff. So she's sitting up there and she saw Jameson. So, I mean, pretty much we can tell that they are going to eventually become a thing or something or best friends or something. And I'm like, okay, whatever. So, 
he can't when she came in she was trying to figure out why he was doing a handstand like up against the wall and so he explained to her that his mother taught him that and it was something to kind of like ease his nerves whenever he's anxious and all of that so you know that's a really big opportunity like that is a very big opportunity and despite his you know legal troubles of the past you know this could you know, be a big, big deal for him. Like he could really go pro and change his life around. So anyway, um, she was like, well, maybe I can meet your mom someday. And he was like, yeah, that would be nice. But she passed away while I was in prison. So she was like, oh, wow. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. So he's continuing his ritual doing what he's going to do. So now they are about to show everybody doing what they're doing. So um, when Malik was in the process of going through what he was going through last night. When old boy was talking to him, he was like, oh, well, I'm going to be there. Can you throw the ball to me? So he was like, yeah, oh, okay. And it's like, he kind of said it like he don't really believe him like that. Or, you know, I'm me. Like, <laughs> you ought to be glad you're going to be in the building with me. That's, that's kind of the feel that I got from the way he said it. But it is what it is. So anyway, when he was there, he actually... Saw him. He was like, oh, okay. I see him. So he threw the ball at him. And he caught the ball away. And I was like, wait a minute. Um, I done forgot his name in real life. But I was like, wait a minute, sir. You done went off. <laughs> and I mean, like, there are people who can't even catch it with two hands, with nice gloves on, with good grip. I'm just saying. It just is what it is. I was like, ah, okay. So they have, like, a little moment. And he was like, do y'all need a quarterback? So, basically, y'all, just in case y'all don't know what's going on, he was paid to make an appearance. He had an appearance fee. And if he wouldn't have shown up, he would have had to return that money. So, if nothing else, he was going to show up and continue to get that money, keep that money in his account. So, his mama was like, yeah, I'm glad you did show up, at least for that. Because he really wasn't trying to hit it because after the news happened that he really wasn't going to be a partner and they just wanted him to be a football player again because he wasn't trying to do that. He was trying to retire. He was just like, nah. So it is what it is. Child, they are showing the times. This boy is the fastest one out there. Jameson, he is literally the fastest one out there. He really reminds me of Julio Jones. Like I live for, you know, old Alabama players and a lot of the new ones too. But Julio Jones um, was awesome when he played for us. He was so fast. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so... Now they have to make a decision as to who is going to like make it to like further trials or whatever and tryouts or whatever. And then they pick this other random dude. And I'm pretty sure it's because people are still not here for him. They had people in the crowd who did an impromptu sign that says he's a rapist. And I was like, oh my gosh, wait a minute, y'all done went off. And it's crazy because Tasha found out about him. Brittany was like, and who is this? She told him the backstory. She wasn't trying to hear it. And then as she saw him perform on the field, she was like, wait a minute. So she started saying a little stuff. Like I was like, oh, now you're interested. He picked your interest all of a sudden. I thought, oh, okay. Oh, okay. So yeah, I was like, child, you done went off. You done went off. <laughs> so yeah, uh, you could tell he was disappointed, but it is. I'm just like, child, you know what it is. It is what it is. So <laughs> another moment happens where um, Britney's friend is doing a cover song. She said she's doing that uh, Montel Jordan song. This is how we do it. It's Friday night and I feel all right. And the party is here on the west side. So I reach for my 40 and I turn it. Ooh, listen, listen. For him to be, <laughs> like, he's turn, like he don't do all of that no more. Uh, we ain't going to get into that. I've talked about him briefly at one point in time. And a lot of people were very shocked for that very small amount of time that I spoke about him. Look him up if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, But, yeah, he don't rap no more. He is definitely all up and through and to the Lord now. And ain't nothing wrong with that. But a lot of people were shocked to see who his wife was and all this stuff. I was like, it is what it is. Hey. They love each other. They're treating each other well. It's 2021. I do not care. I am here for it. So anyway, uh, yeah. They were shocked to see the wife and to see 
his faith be of the magnitude that it is. So anyway, like I said, the friend is covering that song. And I, I, I was getting my life. I ain't gonna lie, I was getting my life. Now, I feel like a lot of people are gonna feel like, oh, these are unseasoned songs. I really feel like people are gonna say, oh, these, this is just so unseasoned. I really feel like people are gonna try it. But I, I, I liked it. I liked it. Whatever. And um, it is what it is. So... The way that everything was set up, like I told y'all before, Britney set it up so that the friend would perform and be the uh, entertainment, and she ended up flying her friends out, the ladies who were there in the, in the I want to say condo, I can't even think of what it was called no more, the place that she was living in before she ended up having to move, but they were doing their job, making the people at the party happy, they had VIPs and all this other stuff. And it went well, like I said. Well, Tasha is on her private plane. And Malik got there before her. And so she was like, you know, this is my plane. And it's not going up until I am the one who's on the plane. And so she was like, so he was like, oh, okay, well, you on the plane now. Wheels up. And y'all know in typical Malik fashion. So she's trying to figure out what's wrong with him. This fool got weed. He's trying to smoke. He over here smoking weed. She have took the weed from him. And she like, dang, this don't make no sense. This is some good weed. But you are a recovered addict, like we've already discussed. What's wrong with you? So she could tell, of course, it's his mama. <sighs> if nobody else can tell that something's wrong with him, she already know. So he and his feelings, because the person that we've been seeing this entire time, y'all, is not even there. It's somebody who he was in school with, he played in school with. And they got paralyzed and they died. I think that they had a major hit of some sort when they were on the field. And listen, I don't want to miss this part because I know it's important, but um, let me just talk about it now. So later on in the episode, very, very soon after this part, he gets so upset about the friend and you know, his status now, because he pretty much has to be like, okay, I'm going to play football, but I don't know where, I guess I'm going to play football or should I play football? Because he has been like really ranting and raving about owning a team and all this other stuff. And he just told his mama that the reason why he'd been doing that is because his classmate, his old football mate was the one who wanted to do that. And he's no longer here and he's been heavy on his mind lately. And it's because the friend, the anniversary of his death, is really really close so that's why he been heavy on his mind his mama asked him has he been seeing him is he in the right mindset like mentally are you there like malik been going all the way through it, it just is what it is so anyway the football player who paid who paid britney to do what she did he was very very impressed and he was like well from now on um keep doing what you're doing i'm here for this and um i will pay you um, for all of my parties from here on out. So Jameson um, showed up because she actually invited him to come through. Wasn't sure if he's going to come through because when she invited him initially, he was so focused on the tryouts and the trials or whatever that he, you know, was like, no, nah, I want to come through because he already knew drinking and all that stuff was going to be involved. Didn't want to be around that. Wanted to make sure his mind was clear. His body was going to be 100%. And I understand that, but he ended up showing up after it was all over with. And she, you know, was like, you did great. And he felt some type of way. And, you know, it just is what it is. And he already knows what it is. She already knows that, you know, the stigma behind what he did, given the age difference and all that, despite it being his girlfriend, is something that is going to be a problem for a while. So it is what it is. So he he, he wanted to... He wanted to uh, kind of slide in and be like, oh, well, I kept overhearing. I've heard you more, y'all more than once say a toast to 828. Like, what is that? So kind of find out the friend who she came there to see and live with and get money with now. Um, they were after the same dude. The dude actually had a wife. Y'all already know. Um, and so they realized they over here fighting for no reason. And so they just squashed their beef and decided to be best friends. So that's why they call that 
they call themselves 828 because it happened on August 28th. And that's what it is. And I'm like, oh, okay. Because I kept trying to figure out what was the 828 about. Whatever. So anyway, why they weren't in the middle of talking, this dude rolled up and was like, yeah, you better watch out. Talking to this dude right here, he'll roof for you and do all and take advantage of you. I was like, oh my gosh. So the dude set it off and ended up punching this man. I was like, oh Lord, you don't need no publicity, sir. You don't need no publicity. You don't need no publicity. So then um, we see Malik. He's at a grave. And then they finally explained because I was like, what is going on here? Child, this man who he's been seeing is the dude who he went to school with. And he and his feelings, he has a bottle of liquor. And this man is literally singing happy death day to me. I am tired. I was like, oh no, y'all done went off. And so, like, he was like, Malik was like, look, I know that, I know the difference between what's really happening and what's not happening. I know you're not here and all of that. And so he was like, well, why did you even come to see me? Like, you know, I'm with you all the time. He was like, yeah, I know that, but it is what it is. And so he over here reading him. He was like, why are you acting like this? Like, get this money, do what you need to do. He was like, look, I'm scared. And so he was like, I only was trying to do all this stuff because this is what your dream was and this is what you wanted to do. And you couldn't do it. And so he trying to tell him, you love football more than anybody. Like, do what you need to do. You need to be able to go out the way you want to go out. You should be able to go out on top, enjoying yourself, loving what you're doing. You love football. So why are you sitting up talking about, I'm retired? So then he ended up actually singing Happy Death Day to you, to this man. I was like, child, I think his name is Caleb. Child, I was like, ooh, Lord. So the dude, he ended up pouring some out on his grave. And I think the man's name is Curtis or something. Who, Charles, Charles or Curtis. Somebody who tends to the uh, upkeep of the graveyard. He asked Malik, was he all right? He was like, yeah, I'm all right. Or he said, nah, I don't know. And he ended up giving him the rest of the bottle. I'm like, well, good. At least you ain't taking to start drinking. Child, so then we end up seeing Jameson in the office of his parole officer. And, you know, they were discussing what happened. And he was like, the only reason why they picked him was because of my my history, because of my background. And they denied him being able to get a visa or being able to have some kind of paperwork to say it's okay for him to play over in Canada. That man told him, just sit tight for 15 months, and then you can go anywhere you want to go. So pretty much... He feel like he's at a standstill. Ain't nothing he can do. So right now, he is just out here stripping to make ends meet. Um, Malik has gone to extreme measures, especially because of what has happened to his old friend who is now deceased. And we see him going to get an MRI, CAT scan, or whatever it is, y'all. I don't, I don't ever go into any of those machines, so I don't even remember what it is anymore. I ain't seen one in so long. But anyway, so you can see him going in there. Then after the whole thing is over with, the person who checked him out said, you are 100% healthy, but I can recommend you. Like, do you want to get recommended to somebody for therapy? Because like, there's nothing we can do. Like you are 100% healthy to play. And the thing that you are looking for, we can't diagnose it unless it's post-mortem. 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 Because I'm like, what am I saying? Um, but yeah, it's something that you can only detect, detect after the person is deceased. And I think that that's something that they were able to say that is what the friend died from after he'd already been paralyzed and all that other stuff. I can tell, I mean, I pretty much could tell that that's, that has to be what it is. And if it's not, I would love to know what it is as to why he's looking into that like that. It has to be what it is. But that's very scary. So he feels some type of way. Of course. But yeah, this woman talking about a psychiatrist. I'm like, child. So he's actually kind of, he seems hopeful because he can actually play. But they want him to go and see somebody first because that's a lot. That's a lot of mental stuff going on with you, sir. So yeah. Um, old boy is in his feelings because he can't play. It's like, 
what is he going to be able to do? Like, I, I mean, all he's doing right now is stripping. Malik ended up going to do a press conference, I guess you could say, and say, you know what? You know, this situation ain't going to work out, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to play football and, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not doing what I want to do, but I'm a, I'm a play. And so it is what it is. Everybody happy. They even had the deceased friend rooting him on for getting up there and saying, you know, I'm going to play football. So child, I was like, oh, okay, cool. So then now Tasha is on the plane with Brittany and they talking. This heifer has made payments on, like, I think she put $20,000 on a payment for uh, some back payments that she had, some stuff that she's behind on. And so she was like, okay, now make another step as a big girl and tell your parents. And so she was like, yeah, no, nah, I don't want to tell them about all that. So Tasha had to read this heifer because she was like, oh, you know, speaking of pay, uh, can I get paid? She was like, you know what? Yeah, I'll pay you right now. So she read her. She was like, I'm going to pay you in advice. She stole from her. The bottles and stuff that she got, I guess she stole. She sold them and, and used them for her own benefit. They were supposed to go to old boy and all of that. And so she was like, oh, well, I guess I'm fired now. So she was like, no, you're going to work for me. And you're going to do what you need to do to regain my trust and the trust of your parents so that they can be proud of you someday. So then we see Jameson up here stripping. And then all of a sudden we see Tasha. And she's setting it off, telling him to take it off. Take it off! Like she really out here doing the most. I'm like, ma'am, what's wrong with you? And he's looking at her like, look, I don't need your sympathy. I don't need your pity money and all this other stuff. He tried to tell her to go on up out of there with her money. So she was like, look, I want to be able to be your manager. So once he heard that, he was like, say word, for real? Oh, okay, it's like that. He was like... She was like, look, I just need for you to prove it. Put, put your money where your mouth is. I need for you to prove to me that you can do what you can do. Because I saw you. Brittany told me all about you. And I want to manage you. So he here for it. And so then after he got over that, she told him to get back to dancing. And so he got back to dancing because it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. So for him to have her as a manager, that's a major step in the right direction. So... We gonna see where all of this leads, y'all. This is the end of the recap review. I feel like that was a pretty good episode, even though it's short. It is what it is. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Give this video a thumbs up. Let's talk about this in the comment section. Are y'all liking the show so far? I am. <sighs> y'all. I need to go somewhere and wind down, so that's what I'm going to do. Go take this lipstick off and go somewhere and sit down. Y'all have an amazing day. I will see y'all later on. Have a good one. Bye.